So um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce our first speaker, Dominique. So his full name is Dominique Fun. That is his last name, and he is a fun guy. Um, he is a sports coach and also a worship leader um, in our local church, and he's going to be talking to us today about um, not belittling ourselves. So I'm going to hand it over to Dominique. Hi, hi everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, give me a big wave. Yes. Big wave. Okay. Okay, good day everyone. I'm really happy to see everyone here. It's really a good time to fellowship together, to getting to know people all from all around the world, right? It's very good to hear you all. And then um, a big thanks to the team that to make this happen, to make this uh, Asia conference it's really a fun thing. They really put in a lot of hard work. Really appreciate that. Okay. So again, my name is Dominic. And I would like to share with you uh, and to encourage you with a little topic. Never belittle yourself. Okay. First, let me start with something. Uh, um, may I know who's sharing? Uh, Sachin is sharing the screen. Can I have my first slide on? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Okay. First thing. Have you ever felt... They are so little, so weak, and so helpless. And everything that you want to do, everything you think of, is against your will. <clears throat> okay, we all felt that somewhere in our life, right? But let me encourage you with something. Let me tell you this. You are good. You are great. And you can really do great things. We all have the unlimited passion and love hidden inside of us. Why not let it shine? Why not touch people's life? We are like a seed. A seed is like nothing. It's so helpless, it's so tiny. But when with the proper soil, proper water, sunlight, it will grow into a big tree. So we are all like that and we want to see that happening in our life. Okay, let me introduce more about myself. I'm a teacher, I'm a sports coach. What do sports coach do? I motivate people. People think that they can, only, they can only run one kilometer. No, I push them, I push them around five kilometers. They think they can run 10, I push them around 15. They will run in front of me, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, okay. Then, uh, I study sports, I really love sports. Uh, some of my friends in the breakout room know that I heard from me, I love sports. Yes, I'm a crazy guy, okay? And then I came to this school. I really want to uh, help more people to get the knowledge of sports and health and to be healthy. And then I came across students and my mentor, my principal, he really shared with me a lot of things in this school. And this school is not a normal school. Uh, it's all about teaching you successful living, how to live successfully. It's not all about your grades. It's about you, this human your human development. And he's also a Christian. He shared with me a lot of Christian values, which I will also have to share with all of my students. Okay, one day we are talking, we are sharing, we are talking. And then he, sh he shared with me one very simple principle, to love yourself. And I'm like stunned. I'm stunned. I'm totally blown away. I'm like, um, do I really need someone to tell me this very simple value, this simple teaching? And that's exactly the point. We all go through life too fast. We, we, we miss out all the minor details. And this is that one simple thing that we really overlook. And today I would like to remind ourselves to love yourself. Because if you cannot love yourself, you cannot love the things you do. You cannot love others and you also cannot love how can you love god if you cannot love yourself at first do you agree all right yeah so first thing he tells me we need to love ourselves and then with that if we love ourselves we will of course love the things we do and we will never belittle ourselves how amazing is that okay 
then the next thing he reminded me we are all made by the image of god is that true do i mean when we say uh, we are made the image of god do i really mean we have the same nose same ears same eyes as god probably yes but uh what i prefer to look at it is in a spiritual way we would like to reflect god's image we like to uh, want to reflect god to show us all the values and to tell people how great we can be okay so that's the thing never belittle yourself and to end uh, i would like to end with one uh, short scripture is from 1st peter 4:10 1st peter 4:10 as good stewards of the manifold grace of god each of you should use whatever gift he has received to serve one another every one of us in this earth has a gift and i want you all to, i want to encourage you all and to remind you all to use that gift and to never hide that gift and to really hide it and no one no one is there to see it i want to show i want you to show it i want you to shine you can do great things okay and that's all from me later we we'll have a reflection question and it is what is the greatest thought thing or situation that you have created what is the greatest thing you have done share with us in the breakout room that's all from me and i'm dominic thank you never belittle yourself Thanks Dominic, thank you for sharing. Certainly a very, you know, encouraging and inspiring way to start our devotionals by reminding us who we are um in God's eyes, right? And and not to look down on that that truth. Thank you.